I'm actually too angry to shout. That's it, I'm too angry to scream and shout at you. The eight's there for a layoff, is that an option? Here we go, Haringey, good free kick. Mendy on the ball still here for Haringey. Luke once again getting involved, although drops to the striker in the box. Got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? And welcome to another Hashtag United game. It's Boxing Day. We're playing Haringey Borough away in North London. But before we get into all that, I want to say, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas Day. If you Merry don't Christmas. celebrate it, I hope you had a lovely Monday. If you don't believe in the uh, kind of traditional calendar, I hope you're enjoying your existence on this ball of energy in the universe. Sebi, what are you expecting nice for today's put. game? We're playing, obviously, our old landlord, Sebi. We are indeed. It's always nice coming back here. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm expecting, Spencer. Liveliness. I'm definitely expecting goals. The crowd here is up for it. They are all well lubricated. They've had a nice full Christmas dinner. There's a few nice mulled wines knocking about. Mm. They're in the festive spirit still. So it's going to be a good atmosphere, certainly. Uh, Harringay not had a great season so far, but I think games like today spend anything can happen yeah they're one off bottom in the league right now obviously we're pushing for a potential playoff spot by the time we get into 2024 we're in really good form as well we're unbeating in our last eight games but every game is tough in this league and we expect them to come looking to get themselves up the table today shall we see what team yes. devs has sent out to battle in goal, Ted Curd. In defence, Matt Waldridge, Nathan Smith with Tom Anderson and Harry Hayson at centre half. In centre midfield, it's Max Cornu and PK Humble. Luke May Parrott keeps his place in the side, although drops to a slightly more attacking midfield position after a man of the match performance last time out and a hat trick to boot. Saka San is on one wing, Misha Jamali is on the other, and Alex Teniola returns to the starting lineup up front. Serious firepower on the bench includes Toby Romalaren, Camilo Restrepo, Pedro Carvalho, Sam Cornish, and Ryan Sammons. Up the tags. Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you're all ready for today. Um, them, obviously, let's, let's ignore the league table. I know, I know I say it all the time, but if you look at the results, they come to us off the back of a, of a really good win away at Billericay. Whenever they've played good sides, they've, they've upset them and they're a real threat going forward because they, they, when, they, when they get it right, they play with a freedom that's quite unpredictable and difficult to deal with. Uh, that said, going the other way, they're vulnerable. They're really vulnerable defensively. Let's be good today. Right, we have been good. Let's continue being good. This side, I look around and the bench, we've got everyone playing well. Right, keep it, because my decision, the decisions I'm having to make at the moment are really tough, but the decisions I want to be having to make, because it's a lot harder when you're making tough decisions because people, everyone's out of form. Joe? No. Let's go, come on. Big time. And PK is going to get us underway on Boxing Day. Eventually, hashtag in the beautiful away strip, the white, the blue, the burgundy, against our old landlords, Haringey Borough, the home oh, team in right the here. yellow and blue. Repeat, hashtag not the team in yellow and blue today on Boxing Day. Let's hope it's more of a hashtag knockout punch than a slugfest, Sebi. Throwing into the box, headed high. Tom Anderson gets there. Mish follows up straight at... The left back, and there's a foul against Max Cornell given here, right on the edge of the box for Haringey Borough. The eight's there for a layoff, is that an option? It's true, We've got Matty Waldridge right. going to just monitor everything. Oh no, it's, it's Luke. Here we go, Haringey, good free kick, and it's well hit. Luckily for us, it's wide of the goal. He did that thing, waited for the keeper to kim it one way, then tried to send him the other way, but Ted Kerr had it covered either way, I think. Good strike. Have you get Matty. Good header. That's very Matty Waldridge-like, to be honest. That's lovely from PK. Mish, that's not your best work. Luke's going to make something from it. Luke's AT keeps it ticking. Jamali. There's a pass in the, in the middle if you can see it. I mean, oh no, what's Max needed to open up for that really. And Jamali's giving well. it away. Three on two. Haringey over to the right now. No shots, boys. There's the shot. Ted catches. Come on, Mish. Oh Mish, dear, no. No, I think he's had a heavy Christmas, Sebi. The problem we're going to have, or the problem Mish is going to have today, is that on our bench, the firepower on the wings is literally a joke. So That's nice, that's, that's nice. Unbelievable. Luke's through here. Keep his call about coming. Changed his mind. Luke's going to put it across, looking for sack, oh. and it was a good area as well. It wasn't just a good area. It was a perfect area, and he gets a nice little high five or a double high ten from AT there. Luke did brilliantly. Lovely little move, that. Just needed someone on the end of it. He's got a very tight bit of area to work with there as well. Here's the corner. Keeper has the punch. Could fall to PK. Can he hit it? It's a difficult one. He's done well to keep it down. Comes back to Jamali here. Crosses again. Good area. Ooh. Good clearance, though. Waldridge 
to Sack. Hassan, chance to run at the right back. Sack, go on, Sack. Lovely. Oh, oh it could be, is it going to be a corner? He has to it, keep it on. The defender's done well there. Just put him off. Yeah, I'm going to predict the number Charlie Smith, number two, is actually a centre back. PK should win this. Matty clips it. Good header from Luke. Sack, can you get through? Looks for AT over the top. Can he get a shot off? Once again, dealt with by the centre half. Shows, Hasem. Shows the confidence AT's got. He tried to take that shot on first time. Didn't want to risk it bouncing because the ball's bouncing so firm. Hard to predict today. PK needs some help here. He's done well, Shot's though. He's done very well. Go round, Rich, can you get there? He's found AT in the box. AT does enough to keep the ball at his feet. Maybe could have looked for a pass there. What do you think? P possibly. I mean, it's one of them. It shows that he's looking to not delay. He's ready just to pull the trigger straight away. That is a great sign for a striker. There's no second thought, no doubt going on. Just wants to pull the trigger. I don't mind it. Yes, of course, he was going for near post. And I mean, I don't know if he'd taken the time and turned around and recycled it. Would we maybe think, just have a shot, mate? So it's a hard one, really. Get to Nathan quick. Keep them moving while they're a man down as well. Get them running. Look at Max Cornell's run. There comes the ball. Oh, oh it drops in the oh, box. Oh, I just need to get a bit, a bit Don't lucky. let it go out. Don't let it go out. They want to do a sub. Well done, Sack. Waldridge throw. I you get AT. AT well flick. And Luke could gamble on that, that mean? bit more. He's just, he's just there, isn't he? Just eager. I love it. Hell of a clearance there from Scott Mitchell. It's going to bounce for the number 11, Anthony Mendy here. Matty Waldridge does well to stop the immediate threat. Back to Mendy, though. Brilliant. Well done. Luke may power again. Man's gone down for Haringey. Ref waves him on. Mendy on the ball still here for Haringey. Luke once again getting involved. Although it drops to the striker in the box. Who hits a fantastic effort. And Nadam Melvin Lambert gives Haringey Borough the lead here against Hashtag. Yeah, I mean, I've, I wouldn't say it's been coming, Sven, but that little passage of play, they look confident when they've got the ball. He just couldn't seem to find a way to get rid of it. And then before you know it, I mean, it had to be a great strike to beat Ted. And it was right in the corner. Not really a huge amount I don't think he could do about that. They've just taken their one chance, really. Yes, yeah, the lower-ranked side of the Ishmael Premier League winning this matchup at the moment. Hashtag with some work to do if we're going to get three points today. Anderson clips it forward, looking for Luke. Luke well wins up, Luke. his header. Mish, come on, son. Get the back, bring it back, Mish. Be yellow Mish card. loses the ball here to the top goal scorer of Haringey, and they could double their lead if we're not careful here. They're going to strike one. Oh, my oh God, Sammy. They're feeling it. They're feeling it. The crowd aroused here. They're well lubricated on this Boxing Day. There's a few glasses of red, all sorts of other things around us. They are having a good time, and they are really, really behind their side. Hasem looking for AT. Can he find a flick here? As I say, the number five Mitchell has been fairly resolute in his defending today. Good ball to the left here for the man who scored the goal. Melvin Lambert to chase. Tomo defending against him. It's a good pass on the edge for cool. Yonton. Finds uh, Harry Hasem's head though instead of the net. Matty Wall just throwing. Looking for AT. Oh, he almost drops to me. Helps come on, it come along on, let's do the it. sack. Come on, Luke. Luke's in the box. Oh, oh, just a little toe on it, but not enough to trouble the keeper. It's been the story of the day. We've got the ball in and around their six-yard box an awful lot, but it's just never been with any meaningful moment for us to get something meaty behind it. Ted Kerr Lovely. sends it forward towards AT, up against Mitchell. It's a great battle. AT comes away with the ball here. Oh. Sandwich between two Haringey defenders. Matty Waldridge, run on, play it, play it. Oh, good, look at the oh, footwork from this play young it, man. Play it. Yes, fantastic him, work from Matthew Waldridge. Oh, he's nicked it off him. Nathan Smith gets it. Can he cross? Can he get this in? He does get it in. Oh, Misha, the back post, puts it back in towards PK. Matty! Yeah! <laughs> he started the move and he ended the move right on half time. It's potentially the future record appearance maker for hashtag. He's only a few games away, Matthew Waldridge. What a delightful time to score. You've got to say to Harringay, since the goal, they've been the brighter of the two sides. Hashtag ending the half more like we started it. And you know what? He's over on that left hand side where Nathan actually pickpocketed it off Sack. And Sack looked a bit disappointed. He's worked out gloriously. Matty will just show, and he's such a rounded play. He gets himself on the goal on the goal scoring list on Boxing Day. Yeah, really nice cross. Just dug out from Nathan Smith. Fair play to Mish Jamaidi who gets it back in the box as well. And Matty with the all important final touch. One apiece here in North London. Is that an assist for Mish? I have to see him. He might have got deflection in there, but he definitely created it. It might be a pre-assist. Oh, no. Don't be silly now. Shot. It's on the left foot. 
Oh my oh god. god. Just like that, Haringey have nearly gone back in the lead. Compliments of their top goal scorer this season so far, Matthew Young. What a left foot he's got. Ted Kurd's kick will not meet a hashtag head because the ref has blown the half time whistle. One goal apiece. Let's see what Dev says. I can't tell you how delighted I am to be getting in here level because that's. We've been so, so bad. Long time since we've been as bad as we've been. And it's not even. I can, I can live with mistakes and I can live with you know things not coming off but we've not got to grips with any of it and the biggest single biggest issue I have is our lack of in movement and anticipation it's lazy it's lazy in the mind and a little bit more energy effort anticipation will win you the game they're, they're not organized that's the big thing they're not organized and we've got to take advantage of that because we're not chaotic, we're organised, we know what each other should be doing. And then when the ball goes in the box, no matter where it comes from, be on your toes because they're slashing at things, missing things, but we're on our reels. I expect us to dominate this half from start to finish and go and get goals. But you need to up yourselves. Come on, big day, big half of football from all of us. And we are underway and there has been a half-time substitution for the tags. Misha Jamali has made way. Pedro Carvalho is on. Sakasan sends it towards the newly introduced Pedro Carvalho. Comes back to Cornhill. PK looking for AT. Doesn't quite find him. PK gets it back here. Good turn. Little push in the back there. Oh, nice little ball from AT. Pedro could be in here, straight off the bench. He's a little bit wide for a shot. Can he cross it in? He does put it in. No! Oh, Luke May Parrot man. scrambling for it. What a move that would have been. Oh, I'll tell you what, we are putting together some nice stuff today. But once again, the ball just not quite falling for us in the box. I'd love us to get a good early second goal. It really would dampen the spirits here because the crowd are still up for it. <laughs> Haringey Borough switching it out to the left here over to Sterling. He doesn't like to cross on the left foot. Comes back to the substitute here. He's going to have a shot. Max yeah, Corner defects, but he's still shoot alive. Like this, We've shown now they're going to take those chances. We've got to do a better job of stopping the early shot. Sakasan going to come and defend. Smith another one gets here. it inside to their top goal scorer. Tom Anderson helps it away. Could have been goal bound. Here we go. Chance to break. He's on. He's in. Oh, oh, that was it, Smith. We just sat here saying he could have never had one on ones anymore. He couldn't have been offside. He was in his own half. Was he trying to play AT for his? Yeah, no, he, he just played himself through. No, I think around. I think it's the right thing to do. He just got really nicely blocked. To be honest, this Good is a really ferocious us. start to the second half. If, if, I, if, if he can just get away with that touch, there we're in. Big kick again from Barnes. Good flick from May Parrot. And oh, 18 now beautiful. looking for Pedro. Here tucks it inside. It's three on one here. Play it's three on one. Got to. Pedro to Sakasan. Yes! For his first hashtag goal. Sakasan makes it 2 1 to the tags. Oh, so much composure. The substitutes had an immediate impact. A lovely little pirouette spin down the right hand side. Unselfish. Lays back. You know what? Sak had a lot of work to do. That was not a simple empty goal tap in. The keeper was coming out, making the angle small for him, making himself big. And he's found a way around him. And look how much it means to him. The Somalian international gets his first hashtag goal. He's already scored an international goal for Somalia. Now he's scored a hashtag domestic goal. Well done, you. Well played. Well done, sir. Pedro. As Seb mentioned, instant impact. Devs take a bow. We're in the lead. Let's keep it that way. I said before the game, you said to him, you're going to get your goal today. Sack. Oh, high looper. Look at the Max Cornell. Oh. It's going to drop for Waldridge, surely not. Oh, wow. Oh, he's asked what a ball that sack is. there. Sack. Can you cross? Ah. So I keep it alive. Is he on side on the left there, Matty? He is now. Can you get to Sack? Lovely oh, cheeky pass. He's on side. Sack pulls it back to Max. Oh, that was it, Spenny. That would have been. That was it. It's gone off for a throw, Sebby, I think. Or did he hit oh, the fence? Oh, that was it. That would have been a chance for Max to open his account. Nathan, Max Cornell tearing people away. Look, making no Croydon, space. You're in there. Oh, Nathan. Oh, well oh, done, Nathan. you. Well oh, done, you. Wow. Sakasan on the turn, ready to burn. Well, oh, they run straight into Haringey player. Coming back for us now, Sack. 
This lad's got a burst of pace. He's no slouch, I tell you. Matty Waldridge. Oh, that's a yellow to match the Haringey kit. And he... Oh, it's not Matty Waldridge. It's, it's Tom Anderson, it's actually. Ando, yeah, it was Ando. Let me tell you, that lad, as you mentioned, Seb, Leacock McLeod is a rapid. Problem. It's a problem. Free kick here. Oh, it needs to be dealt with. It's gone right across and it's a corner. God, how? PK needs to get in because we're playing like yeah. a bit of a two. Look, Luke's filling in for him right now. Oh, I could have left that for I think Ted. He could have done. He's over on the right hand side now, spending this guy. Yeah, he's moving a lot. He's the nud. Leacock McLeod, but we're going to link up to get it off him here. Sack bursts away. Oh, look at him go. Oh, oh God, Sack! Son. This is vintage Hassan. Can he keep going? He's lost him. Got 18 to his left. Plays it to him. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be. What? He's going to use it. Book it. He's going to book it for Diamond. Oh, that is outrageous. You know what, Spen? Is it outrageous? I couldn't tell you either way, but I'm telling you right now that could be a very good shout from the ref. It could be a very good shout. He was running out of road, AT, wasn't he? He was running out of road. I don't blame him for it. I'll have to see it back and see how far away from contact there was. But it was very plausible that contact would have come. And then, I mean, there's no way AT was going to get that and recycle it. So, Can we talk about the hips from Sakasan? Yeah, the hips don't lie. That was delightful from him. You can, he sort of ran out of gas. The defender got back in so well. Yeah. Here, I think playing in AT was the right move. Yeah. <laughs> don't, uh, he don't know how to dive. <laughs> Just keep working. Come on. He doesn't even know how to dive. That's why he got booked. I feel like today is the official arrival of Sakasana Hashtag. He had yeah. a really good pre-season. A bit slow to start in the official season. And now he's got a goal and he's just popping off left, right and centre. But there's a chance here for Haringey on the edge. There's the strike. Oh and Ted Kerr watches it go God past God his God. left post. But the substitute, Lee Cock McLeod, is a problem. Oh, that's a good ball. ball. Ted thought about coming. Hasem gets that there. Just what a man. Look at that as well. Rolling. Distribution of DHL. We'll have the foul. Thank you. The ref has given... It's not a foul for me. Because of the ones he's given so far, it has to be a foul. He gives any little bit of contact. PK sees the run of Matty Waldridge. Plays it. Waldridge now advancing up the pitch. Oh, plays it inside to Luke May Parra. Oh, with the shot. Oh, it's so much time, Seb. So much time. He needed a shout. He could have turned and really taken his time. And he's lashed at it a little bit. Could have just placed it, couldn't he? Oh, so disappointing. Big save from the keeper, Barnes, to keep Haringey in this game. And now, actually, there's two on two in the box. Digs out across to the far post. Pedro does enough to stop Lee Cock McLeod getting it easy. But it's end-to-end -end stuff. We need this third goal, and we need it fast. Oh, that was it. Such a... No one just... He needs to let him know he had all the time in the world. Or maybe just, in fairness, he's got to take the responsibility himself of checking his shoulder a little bit and re realising he was in acres. Haringey trying to get something going here. They're so far up the pitch. Look at their centre-backs. It's mad, the counter opportunity. Ball comes in. Cornell heads it. If Luke can get on this. Oh, he nearly has. He oh. has. Mitchell's oh. done well to win it. Pedro could be away. Yeah, it's three on one. It's four has on to one. Score. Come on. Got to score in the game. 18, boys. stay on side. Gets it to Luke. Take a touch again. Yes! <laughs> it's a fifth goal in three games for Luke May Parrot. It's a second assist for Pedro off the bench, and it's probably three points in the Christmas sack. We were just saying how a minute ago Luke needed that tiny little bit more composure to realise the amount of time he had. Well, we had composure on toast there, not just from Luke with the finish, but from Pedro. Because running through Spen, all of a sudden you're thinking there's three and one. We can't mess this up. We can't mess this up. And it's so easy then to mess it up. But we definitely didn't do that. Really nice, well-timed pass, perfect weight. And Luke made parry had to the easiest of jobs, slotting it into the back of the net. It has to be said, the way Haringey have gone about trying to get back in this game and defending so high has invited us to do that. I'm not, I'm not chastising them for it. I, I acknowledge that they're going for it and they're trying to play attacking football, much like their neighbour Spurs have been in recent weeks from the back. But it has invited us to come through and we've finally taken that chance. It's a free hit. It's a third goal. Hopefully it's made three for a great points. spectacle, isn't it, the way they've gone it's for it? It's been a good game for the neutral made, and yeah, for the really hashtag has. fan. Yeah. You know what, Spen? I think Toby's up front and Luke's on the right. Interesting. Just trying some things out, is he? I think, might, I think he might be. Why are we inviting them so much? Like, look how much space they've got. Chance for a shot. Plays it inside the box instead. Harry and Gay with a strike. Ted Curd with a save. Oh, dear me. Nice. This is better. I approve of this. Let's go home if you have to. Pedro's on. Well, that's actually worked out quite nice. Camillo to PK. Yeah, this is lovely now. 
Should we start doing Alays? Is it too soon? Here's no, Pedro. I think we could. He's going to strike one. Fakes oh, it. Wow. On the left foot. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. You know what? It doesn't happen often, Spen, but a player off the bench could well be in the conversation. He's come off the bench. He looks True. electric. Two assists, I think. Are we giving it yeah, two assists? Two assists yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's definitely up there. That's OK. Well done. Well done. Why he don't want to just shift and do it on his right foot, I, I don't know. Nathan looking for Luke May Parrot. Challenges so well. Okay. Camillo will get there. Something here. Show me. Show me some spice. Restrepo. Almost he's fell over his it. own legs there, he but he's going to keep it. Frikey, that Bambi on ice. We'll have the free kick then. No problem. It was well unnecessary. Done, well done. Ball in for Pedro. Flicked away. Only as far as Camillo! Hits it straight oh. in the keeper. Toby looks to get the really good tackle, you have to say. Yeah, defending well. They're needing to, though. Our time to apply a little bit of pressure. If we got one more, it would well and truly be over. But once again, Spen, they left four men forward for that. They're bringing one back now. They do not seem too bothered about defending. I, I rate it. It is boring defending, isn't it? Rubbish. Well, depends who you ask. Still three on three yeah, at the back. I tell you what, if Restrepo made a run to the short post now, he'd leave all sorts of room for Tomo. Carvalho looking for... Oh, it's a header. And it was Max Cornhill. So close to opening his account. I think he's the only one left, Seb. Oh, God. I really want it for him. Corner. It's a good one. Oh, Max Cornhill gets it away. We've been really good on them. Luke here. We go. Here. here we go. Two on one, Luke. He's going to get there, Two though. Two on one. Defender thought about going to Luke. Had to change because he realised Pedro was there. What Luke picks ball. out what Pedro. Keeper comes. Misses it for Max Cornhill. <laughs> <laughs> He's first of the season, but the biggest story, Seb, is a hat trick of assists for Pedro Carvalho off the As bench. I said a few minutes ago, Max misses that chance. He's probably not going to get a better one this game. Well, I was wrong because you can't get a better one than that. Laid on a plate for him by the man. I mean, it's incredible. Not many people in a hashtag shirt get three assists in the game, Spenny. He's one of them, but you know what? He's done it in half a game. He's done it in half a game. And also, shout out to Luke May Parrot again. Leading these breaks, these counter-attacking presses, making mistakes happen in the defence. What a pass from him to Pedro. He put the keeper in no man's land. Max and Sack finally <laughs> scored. <laughs> Corner's been taken short. Cross is good. Toby heads away. Luke. Been silly now. Luke, don't get injured. Oh, he's done well there, the 16, to come away with it. Looking to shape up to get a shot. Picks out a brilliant pass instead. Once again, the shot off target. They have had chances there. They just haven't tested Ted enough. They've had plenty of shots on goal. All of them, though, have just been from quite a long way out, Spen. Can't be long left now. Look at that kick. Look at that kick. It might be through. Look, you don't need to risk getting injured. We're 4 one up, mate. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. Look at him. He's taking it like a champ, by the way. Jeez. That, that hurt me. That, I'm telling you, that's hurt him, isn't it? You can tell a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that would leave a bruise. That's where that attitude can come back to get you a little bit. And there's the final whistle. What a turnaround for 1-0 down. Shout out to Devs for the managerial masterstroke. And there's been a lot of indicators of how far we've come in the last few weeks there. We've had a win against Braintree and Brightlingsea. We used to be in the league with their reserves. We beat both their first teams. We used to be the tenants of these guys. There was three or four divisions between us and Haringey. We've come and we've beat them today. We really have grown a lot in the last few years. Seb, who's your UFL player of the match? I'm going to give... You know what? I think until that last goal, the man of the match was maybe going to go to Luke Mayparra. Not just because of his goal, but because of how hard he worked at both ends of the pitch. His level of energy and drive are so important to us today. But the man who came off the bench, a hat-trick of assists, today's UFL player of the match is that man, Pedro Carvalho. Fantastic stuff. You can see what that win means for the league table. We're on the cusp of a playoff spot. A lot of football still to be played. Only one more game, though, in 2023 against Folkestone away on the 30th. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Head over to the Extra channel to see the post-match reaction. And until next time, up the tags. Happy holidays.